Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I would like to share you an update version on CheckRan. And now we can run CheckRan on video much easier than the last method. Before you can get started in this video, make sure you have an empty USB. And for this method, you only need one USB. And then you will need to download RAN USB right here. And the file size it is about 800 megabytes. There are two versions for RAN USB. So the first one for Intel and the second one it is for AMD. If your computer graphic card is AMD, you can download RAN USB AMD. Or if your computer is Intel graphic, you can download RAN USB right. Then after you download those two files, you need to download this one. So this is the software that allow you to create a bootable USB. For this software, sometimes it does work for me and sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't for you as well, you can go to Transmac. So it is free as well. You can download the trial version. After you download the software and download RAN USB, you can plug in your USB into your computer in order to create the bootable one. After plug in, so the first one I'm gonna show you Balana software so you can open it. After that it will allow you to select the image so which is the RAN USB file so you can click on select image and then you can go to desktop and my file is on desktop so RAN USB right here. And finally you can click on flash but for me I have already created my USB so I don't have to do that. This software doesn't work for you, you can use Transmac, so I can show you as well. So you can open Transmac and right click on the USB and hit on restore with this image, hit on yes again. And then it will ask you to select the file, so you can hit on these three dots. And again, you can go to desktop, so for me my file is on desktop, and then I can use RAN USB. And finally I can click on OK, but for me I I told you I have already created the USB. So after we do all of this, after that we can restart the computer. So while your computer is restart, you can hit on the F key to go to boot device option. So we have different computer and make sure you know what is the key for boot device option and you can check it on the internet. So there are many sources that show you about that. And then we can go to the USB so I can navigate to my USB right here. It will bring you to this page. So before you can boot to into the Mac, you need to go to the option first. So you can use the arrow up or arrow down to move the selection. So I'm gonna go to option here, hit on enter. And then on boot AOGS, I need to erase everything. And you can only keep minor V. And then you can go down. Then you can go down to graphic injector, hit on enter, and make sure you deselect everything. So I'm gonna deselect this one and hit on return. And now return back to the main menu. And now we can boot into the RAM USB. So we can hit on enter. However, if you did all of the first step that I saw you on the first computer, if it so attempting to restart, it means your computer doesn't support and you need to try it on the other PC. So I have the HP in my hand and I can boot into the USB. And one more, if you have the first computer and you want to try it again, you can use RAN USB AMD in the Intel computer. So you can try it. It's kind of weird but you need to try, you can boot the RAN USB AMD into the Intel, so you can do it, so you can try it out both files, and the link can be found in description, so and then I can boot into F9, so boot device option, and then I can do arrow up or arrow down to navigate, so, and then I can go to my USB right here.
and now on the computer you see different screen doesn't matter and you can use arrow down and then it will show a bunch of options you can use arrow down to boot from verbos hit on enter Now you can see now we are standing in the setup screen so simply you can hit on next and then on this step you need to move your mouse into the top and then you will see this menu bar you can hit on utilities Hit on terminal So for the command you just run or a one un USB so you just run run USB and then hit on enter key and then you will see check run pop up so you can use the app directly from the installation as you can see here and now we need to connect our iPhone into the computer so now we can plug in And as you can see, my iPhone is recognized. So I have the iPhone 8 running on iOS 13.1.2. And then I can verbal boot. And now hit on start. Hit on next. And your phone will be entering recovery mode. So you can wait. And then you can hit on start. And when you see DFU mode successfully, it means your iPhone is gonna be jailbroken. So we just wait. As you can see here, so we see on verbal boot. And now we go to the lock screen. So now on side here, it does work. And now on check ran, it does work as well. 
and thank for watching and I hope you like this video and for the method I'm not guarantee that all the computer will work so you need to try it out as I told you you can try RAN USB Intel and RAN USB AMD so you can make them or you can 